Hello there. Today I'm showing you how to make zucchini in your air fryer. We have this, I'm going to be really honest, we have this about three times a week because it's so easy, it's so healthy, and honestly, I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of zucchini until I started making it this way. Now sometimes we will put it on the grill, you know, on a warm, nice day when you're grilling something else, but when you don't have the grill heated up or it's cold outside, putting your zucchini in the air fryer is so good. So for this recipe, I usually use two zucchinis. Now, if it is zucchini season and you're growing them in your garden, they may be huge, right? However, I usually buy them at the store and this is about the size that I use. So if you have really big ones, then you may only need one to feed three to four people. Um, and honestly, a lot of times I'll just do one zucchini for myself and my husband and I give a little bit to the kids. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice, I don't know, it's not even a half inch thick or anything like that. But what I'm gonna do after I've sliced little slices, I'm gonna cut it in half. Now you don't have to do this if you prefer to have a full circle, but I prefer when I'm eating it with a fork to have the half moon shapes, okay? So I'm gonna finish cutting these really quick. I have all of my zucchini cut in little half moon slices. Next, I'm gonna put it all in a Ziploc bag. Now you can use a bowl if you don't wanna waste a Ziploc bag, but what you're going to do is you're gonna coat the zucchini with the spices and the oil, and I find that shaking it in a bag is so much easier than stirring to try to get it all coated. Now once you have the zucchini in your Ziploc bag, you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I use about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of olive oil. Again, it depends on how many zucchini you are using or how big it is and so on and so forth. You just, you don't want a whole lot. You don't want to soak it. You just want to be able to have a little bit of oil on each piece of zucchini. So once you have your oil in, your one to two tablespoons, really it's pretty forgiving. Um, I don't think I've ever put too much or not enough, so you should be okay you are going to add some garlic salt. Now I use about, oh, maybe a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. Yeah, actually not, not a half. We're gonna go with about a fourth of a teaspoon. You can have too much garlic salt in this. Remember, you can always add it later. <laughs> okay, and then for the pepper, just a dash of pepper. Um, I wouldn't even say it's a fourth of a teaspoon, to be honest. You just want a dash of it, or according to your preference. And then after the pepper, the olive oil, and the garlic salt, just shake. Now with it being zucchini, I'm not afraid to give it a little taste test before it's cooked to make sure it has enough salt and pepper on it. That's perfect. Now depending on your air fryer, it can determine how long you cook it and at what temperature, because air fryers can be different. I personally use the Chefman air fryer. I absolutely swear by it and love it. I'll link to it in case you need one or want a new one. And some air fryers recommend that you preheat them. I'm not a fan of preheating. I kind of like to just go into it. It can make a difference, say when you're cooking multiple batches of something like bacon, the first batch may take a little longer to cook than the second batch because it's already heated up. But I usually just like to get it and go. So I pour the zucchini right into the basket and then I just pop it in. And I cook the zucchini on 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. I cook a lot of stuff at 400. I feel it gives it that nice, round, crispy texture that I look for in the oven or on the grill. So I'm gonna let that sit for 10 minutes, and then when I come back, I'm gonna show you what I sprinkle on the top to give it a nice little extra flavor. Now we are right at the 10 minute mark, and I wanna show you just how good it actually looks. You may have a preference of a more crunchier zucchini, a softer zucchini, so definitely play with it. I would say at the 10 minute mark, depending on the thickness of it, is typically about where I like it. I like a little bit of crunch. My husband prefers it to be softer. So what you're looking at here, it doesn't have any of the browned look to it yet. And there's a reason for that. Because you can stop there if you want, you can cook it until it's brown. But what I like to do at this 10 minute mark is sprinkle shredded Parmesan cheese on top. Now I would say for this batch, I would do maybe a fourth of a cup, and then I'm gonna, <laughs> and then I'm gonna pop it back in for 
just a couple of minutes and that's gonna melt that cheese. I kinda like the cheese to be a little crispier brown. So stay tuned and I'll show you what that looks like right after that. So a good rule of thumb is since, they're, since air fryers can be so different from one brand to the other, power settings can be different, it's always good to check it. With zucchini, you don't have to worry about it losing juices or flavor, or anything like that. So just pull it out, check it, maybe taste test it and see what doneness you prefer, right? So I would say for this batch here, it was about maybe three to four minutes of actually toasting the cheese onto, onto the zucchini. And then I'm just gonna scoop it right Oh, right into this bowl. And strangely enough, it, it smells like pizza. So if you've never made zucchini pizza before, I highly recommend that because that gets delicious as well. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that glorious goodness. <laughs> so that's it. Now what you can do is sprinkle a little extra Parmesan cheese on top if you want, but it's the way we like it. It's one of our favorites and I hope you enjoy it. You can find the full recipe on the blog at fantabulosity.com along with other air fry recipes that we've grown to love too. See you next time, bye.